Today I'm going to be helping a couple California investors start a 20 property portfolio in a Midwest state. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your boy James Wise and we are going to help DD and Fred from California start their Midwestern real estate portfolio. We're targeting the Cleveland, Ohio market. Why? Because the prices are super, super low, okay? And I'm going to help DD and Fred build a portfolio of 20 properties. That is their goal. They want to accomplish this by buying single-family homes, right? So we're going to get you guys 20 single-family properties. And you two are smart. The way you're doing this, right? We're starting with 75 Gs, okay? But the way you're uh, you're trying to do this, right? $75,000, how do we get all the way to 20 properties? Well, you guys are very, very smart. You realize that each of you individually can get 10 residential mortgages, right? For people that watch Holton Wise TV, often you guys know that I believe real estate investing is such a good investment because of the financing right there's there's other investments out there other things you could do with your money that you can get a a one-to-one -one, uh investment return uh you know that's comparable right to real estate right you can invest in the stock market you could do probably just as well right but what real estate has that those other investments don't have is other people are willing to fund it for you dude other people are willing to give you a crap ton of money and the best and the cheapest and the most efficient way to get all that money from other people is residential mortgages right 30 year interest low interest is freaking tax deductible interest man it's the it's the best gig in town right but the downside is you can only get 10 of those bad boys, right? You only get 10 of them. But Dee Dee and Fred, they're smart. They're married. So if they buy these properties together, well, they're stuck with only 10. But if Fred buys 10 and Dee Dee buys 10, boom, there you go, guys. We're able to get 20 properties. By the way, Dee Dee and Fred, I believe you guys have your own lenders. If you do not, if you would like to talk to some of mine, just send an email, and this goes for everybody else who's watching too. Send an email to sales at holtonwise.com, and my team of lenders will get that to you. You guys could talk to them, and while you're at it, watch, go ahead and give us your phone number. Talk to my team about how you could work with us just like Dee Dee and Fred are doing. Now, what I've done, what I'm doing for you guys, I'm spending all day on you guys, Dee Dee and Fred, right? You guys are my people today. I have decided to start. Your package off with three properties. I'm going to do one in this video, one in the next video, one in the following video, right? Because I want to help you guys buy properties at the right price, right? This one, I like this property, 2193 West 85th Cleveland, just listed a couple weeks ago, almost three weeks ago, at 54900 Like the property for you guys. I don't like the price, though. I think it's a little too high, right? So... That's part of being a real estate investor, guys. That's part of the game, okay? You got to make a lot of offers. You got to do a lot of due diligence, right? People aren't just, you know, willing to just walk away from their properties at incredibly low prices, right? It's a numbers game, right? So if you're a real estate investor, know that just because you look at one property and make an offer on one property don't mean that deal's going down, right? So if you guys want to build a 20-unit portfolio, right, we're going to look at a hell of a lot more than 20 properties, okay? So this one to start, though, what I like about this one is all the big ticket items have been taken care of, right? Now, this picture makes it look like it's rent ready. It's definitely not, and that becomes much more apparent as we cruise through. But just some things so you guys can see, right? You got the broken window treatments. When we harden these units for Section 8 tenants, because this is a neighborhood where you definitely want Section 8 tenants, right? You want to remove things like ceiling fans, right? Because kids or people, you could hang on them, break those, right? Get rid of those, right? Remove those. Uh, you know, over here it becomes much more apparent that the 
you know, unit definitely needs some love, right? You can see the staining in the carpet. We'll pull that out, refinish the hardwoods under there, get rid of all the trash, all this crap that's hanging on the walls. I don't know what's going on there, but we will get rid of all of that, right? Just more stuff hanging, just, just more stained carpet throughout. See here, you got a nice, probably big old fist hole, right? Somebody drinking a little too much beer. His old lady might be pissing him off, so takes it out on the wall. That kind of stuff happens, right? Might as well just talk about it, right? We don't got to brush it under the rug. We don't got to pretend like when we're buying properties in neighborhoods like that, that that's not the kind of shit that goes down, okay? Another ceiling fan. Oh, we got some ICP fans. We got some juggalos in this one, right? Got to get rid of the juggalo hatchet man sign. Get rid of all that stuff, okay? Now, keep cruising. You know, clean this up a little bit. Okay, so these cabinets, I like them. Nothing wrong with those. We go ahead and keep those. Countertop, everything looks like it's in pretty good shape. Probably going to want to pull the dishwasher. Probably get rid of this dishwasher, though. Sorry, tenant base. If there's any tenants out there, y'all watching this, trying to move to neighborhoods like this, and you're wondering why ain't nobody providing you guys dishwasher. Sorry. It does not pan out as a um, profitable investment for real estate investors, okay? Uh, folks in these neighborhoods are, are hard on rentals. They're hard on dishwashers, and the cost to maintain a dishwasher ultimately costs more than it does uh, the amount of rent. It increases, right? So we get rid of dishwashers. Sorry, folks. Uh, it just doesn't pan out, right? It's got to make money if you want your landlord to do it, right? So just, you know, more stuff we got to clean out, so we're going to be repainting everything, right? And uh, just, you know, repainting. Uh, here we got some uh, some floors coming up, right? So just cosmetics, right? We're, we're doing all the cosmetics, okay? But that's it. That's all we got to handle, right? Because this hot water tank, pretty darn new. Look at this right here, this this uh, HVAC line. That's going to another super new furnace, okay? Super new. And uh, probably can't really see it that well right here. Look at that. That's what I like to see. That's a updated electrical panel right so all of our big ticket items taken care of right we just got to do some some cosmetic love to clean this up right what you have here is probably a, a former landlord who just don't want to deal with the tenants anymore and uh you know it's just uh like hey man i'm done with this i don't want to handle these tenants anymore so we're going to come in and we're going to try to pick it up for forty thousand dollars all right we're going to buy this for 40 Then we're going to need to spend 10 right? All that stuff I just talked about that we need to do cosmetically. I think we get this rent ready for a Section 8 tenant for approximately 10 okay? So that means all in investment at 50 Gs. With that 50 Gs, that's going to get us $1,000 a month Section 8 tenant. Now, accounting for all of the fixed and variable expenses, I think 1000 is going to come in. An average of 452 is going to go out. So that's going to leave you two clear clean over 6500 and that also accounts for 1800 a year going towards capex vacancy and non-payment repairs and maintenance right so those new mechanicals y'all saw in there i didn't mention that the roof is brand new because it's not right so you're saving up money to do that roof because you probably have to do one of those in the next five to ten years and eventually you'll have to replace that hot water tank they only last 15 so it's new right now but it won't be new in 15 years right are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Furnaces, they last uh, 30, right? Furnaces, that's a $3,000 bill. Hot water tanks, that's a $1,000 bill. Roof like this, probably four or $5,000 bill, right? So you're saving up for that. And eventually, tenants, even though we're putting in Section 8 tenants to mitigate that risk, part of the real estate investment business is you don't get rent 100% of the time, guys. It just doesn't happen, right? Clearly, you see the property was left in disarray, so whoever's selling it to you, that person didn't get rent 100% of the time either, right? So you got to calculate for that stuff. So 6500 is coming into you guys clean on average is my estimate of performance, but I'm also tacking on another $1,800 that's going to go in your pocket while things are running good, but I'm not counting it as your return because I know eventually things won't run so hot, right? All that said, that makes this a 10.9 cap. And when you factor in your super low down payment, right, because you only need 10 Gs to buy this thing, $10,000. You guys got $75,000 to work with. We're going to put 10 into the loan, okay, get a loan for the other 30, and then 
put the 10 into the repairs. So our cash on cash return is going to be 25.3% because 10 to acquire it, another 10 to get it rent ready, right? So our cash on cash return, we're taking our NOI, dividing that by our upfront cost of $20,000, right? So it's a 25% return is the projected performance. That will also leave you guys with $55,000 of your cash to continue looking for other properties which we are going to look at right now thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment